Hi guys, Video Diary here. It's been quite a few days since I have posted a Video Diary. Um, it was a very, very, very busy week last week. Um, and it's what, today's Saturday? <clears throat> so I finally feel like we can kind of start to unwind and rest and relax and just start to enjoy having a new lifestyle like we're gonna have a new lifestyle hubs and i so he's home he is right there i'm gonna try and like arrange this so that we can both be seen but it's probably we're probably gonna go have to sit on our little stools do you mind sitting on the stool honey? nope don't mind at all okay so let me just grab my box because that's what i used to put the camera on top of and get this situated <clears throat> we literally just finished dinner so i have to put the mess away but Let's. Well, I'm keeping it in there. I'm still eating my he's still chips. he's still eating his guac and chips. Um, I'm gonna get a water because I'm thirsty. My lips are like chapped. Usually they get chapped. They start getting chapped when I'm getting sick, and he's getting sick, and I'm like, I hope I'm not getting sick. But I'm probably getting sick too. So. Great. Uh, <laughs> We're both gonna be sick. Okay. <laughs> Let me. Um. Can you get me? There's no water bottle in there. Hold on. I like cold water. What is this? What is on this? I'm listening to things. Are you still recording? Yes. Let me get down. No, no, no. You need to get down. So, uh, what good movies are out there? I mean, I mean, I know Rambo's out there and then the Joker. What good movies? Yeah. Here, sit down. What? Sit down. Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Here's your chips. Oh my goodness. I look like a wreck today, you guys. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> no, sorry. <not. laughs> oh, I'm so tired. <clears throat> I'm tired. We did a lot today. <clears throat> so I have my free hugs chainsaw massacre shirt. And I have a blue shirt. I put that one on because we were doing... You guys don't mind if I eat, right? They see me eat all the time, so... Mm -hmm. um, I put on the Chainsaw Massacre shirt because we were decorating for Halloween today. So I was like, oh, that shirt is appropriate. So, um... So we only got two questions because I put the... So I put a little thing out on Instagram asking people to ask us questions so we can film and answer. But we only got two questions because I just barely put it out like not even an hour ago. It's all good. <laughs> so um, the first question is, um, is will we ever travel? Her or not? Why not? Ah, hey, get down. Um, so I think so. I mean, I would like to travel. I guess let's answer is if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you want to go? Sea volcanoes, Mount Vesuvius. Oh, that one would be fun to do. Mm -hmm. I think I would want to. I mean, but knowing our luck, yeah, it will start erupting. <laughs> Stop! That's scary. True story. Mm. A couple years ago, we went to Hawaii to um, Oahu. Oahu. The night before. I got a warning on my phone of a tsunami. Yeah. I'm had, like, great. There was an earthquake and they had a tsunami warning, literally. That's kind of funny. Not funny, like, but it's, I don't want to go no more. <laughs> um, um, I guess if we stay in the States, I want to travel and see. I really want to go to Oregon. Mm. Portland, Oregon and Salem, Massachusetts. Where's your... Um Start off, what are you doing? Get down. She's chewing on the, the, she figured out that I have a beautiful arrangement on the table. Start up. get down. She'll figure it out, she'll, she'll, she'll stop. Um, in Arkansas, where you can mine for diamonds, it used to be like a oh, yeah. active volcanic zone, so. Someone found a big diamond there Yes, too. yeah. Worth like over $100,000 or something. That would be fun to mine for crystals. But you don't, you don't like to get dirty. I right? don't. I don't like outside. Well, would you mind? Would you I mind? Would... Get it? Mind? Ah. <laughs> would I mind the mind? Yeah. Would you mind getting dirty too? I wouldn't. But if, what if you found that diamond, a good diamond? I would 
die. You're gonna keep it. Yeah, that would be freaking amazing. Knowing that you dug for it. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind as long as the weather was cool. Well, it's Arkansas. It's so I'd be... rather be like outside getting dirty if the weather is cool. Because if it's hot, I'll be miserable. So I don't but, mind I don't mind going outside. But if you find a diamond, it's all worth it. Oh well, hell yeah, it would be worth it. I don't mind going outside and doing all that stuff, but it has to be cold. Mm. I don't do the sun. I love history. Yeah, you do. So anywhere back east, uh Salem, especially Salem with Salem is I think that's probably the, the one trials, I um, think that's the one place that we both agree on. Yeah. Or even just up and down the east coast with uh, the whole civil war. You have, Gettysburg? Yeah. The Gettysburg. haunted tours. Or uh, the American Revolution. That's that's all interesting to me. That's, that's pretty amazing, actually. That would be fun. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. New York would be nice to visit for one day because yeah. I hate big cities. Ugh. Yeah. that's We also agree on that, too. We're not big city people. <clears throat> um, if we could go outside of the country, though, I want, first I'd want to go to Mexico and see the, the pyramids. That's one thing I would want to see. And then I would want to go to Egypt and see the pyramids in Egypt. I would love to see that. We were just talking today about Easter Island, mm -hmm. the big statues of the faces. We would we want to go see that. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it for me. Mm -hmm. The other question that someone asked was, how do you, was for you, um, how does it feel being back home? Mm. It hasn't hit me yet, but... Like today, I'm like, oh man, I have like to go back. Like literally today was day one of him being back home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were busy today though. Mm -hmm. We um, we cleaned the house a little bit. We put up the Halloween decorations. We went and get his got his truck washed. We went and did grocery shopping because we had zero stuff in our fridge. Mm -hmm. um, we got stuff for the cats. We, we were like out and about. And the next thing we knew, it was what, three o'clock? Mm -hmm. And we're like, wow, it's only three? Because it already felt like, it literally felt like we went through the whole day. <laughs> um, but yeah, are you, are you happy to be home? It feels nice. It feels nice. It's nice, but it's it's temporary. Right. Because when he starts to work, work, um, he might not be home. It's okay though. It's often. Uh, you know, I, I'll I'll be close by. Yeah, so. you'll be close by. But knowing that I get to go home every day, mm -hmm. it'd be nice. Yeah. So. I won't get here. phone calls at 4 in the morning, 2 in the morning. The alarm's going off. The smoke alarm's going off. Or... I didn't I didn't tell you guys about that because I haven't done a video diary since before I left. Um. So the night, the so you guys know I left for Sacramento on Wednesday. <clears throat> um, Tuesday night, literally, it was midnight and the, my fire alarm started to go off. And it was chirping, so if you guys have a fire alarm and you, and if it's ever lost battery or whatever, I'm pretty sure everybody had a fire alarm. Yeah, a smoke alarm. Actually. A smoke alarm. It chirps when the battery is low or if it's dying. Like I think ours was old, and um, <laughs> this was at midnight, and so I was like, well, maybe I can just go to sleep and and deal with it later. But it was in our bedroom and it was loud, and so I was like, I'm not gonna get any sleep. I have a big day tomorrow. Um, and <laughs> so I was texting him, hoping he was still awake, but he had already knocked out and he was up in Sacramento, mind you. And so I was texting my husband, like, what am I supposed to do? How do I get this thing to stop chirping? And I was just go, it was just going through in my mind how, why does this have to happen the last night? Like literally the last night that I'm going to be by myself. Why does this have to happen? And so I guess I'm happy that it happened when I was still home because the poor cats. Imagine if I had to deal with that. So I texted him. I texted our best friend was because the, the best friend that is, was coming down to watch the cats for the week. I texted him to see if he can come over and fix it. And he was he was already asleep. I mean, this was like at midnight. And so I literally marched my ass into the garage and I got our ladder and I carried the ladder to the bedroom and I was nervous to get on the ladder because one, I'm afraid of heights and two, I was like, I don't know if this thing is going to hold my weight. You know what? It's up either. <gasps> afraid of heights. Yeah, I'm afraid of heights. I believe it now. Yeah. But many years ago, we used to go to Magic Mountain all of, like all the time and, <laughs> and she would get on roller coasters like 
-hmm. Let's do this. With nothing. And then we got on X2. So if any of you have been to Magic Mountain here in California, it used to be X and then they revamped it and then they, it's a lot more crazier. Crazier rides. Yeah, and we got on that. She was good all day and she got on that ride at night and it just blew everything out. It like, scared me. I mean, to the point where she was crying, you know, she was just cussing out loud. Freaking out. Get me off this effing ride. Mm -hmm. I do not want to get on this effing ride again. I just remember having... And I'm over here like, ah! <laughs> the ride was one of those where your feet dangle. I think I have a picture of it, too. Stop. <laughs> your feet dangle, and then you have, like, this vest thing that goes over your chest. And that's all you're being held onto for the ride is this, like, this thing that just straps across your chest. And... I think that I just, like, the thought of that busting open and me flying out to my death just freaked me out. And I think it just psyched me out, literally. Well, I was laughing at it, so I would have been yeah, all right. Yeah, well, you, you're all, all for that weird stuff, but that was a bit much for me. So, I think I hit the point in my life where I was, like, I was no longer a daredevil for those kind of things. No, don't get me wrong. When I was younger... It's going right after roller coaster, roller coaster, roller coaster. Now I have to one roller coaster and then take a break because I'm <laughs> man, I, I can't hang no more. <laughs> but I mean that now compared to standing on a ladder two, three feet in the air, <laughs> that's still a bit much for me. I don't like heights. I I need to be on the ground. Like so, going on the plane, I was anxious. <clears throat> I was, I've been on planes and they're fine, but I've usually been on the plane. I'm so, I'm so itchy. I've usually been on the plane with somebody, but this trip to Sacramento was my first time on a plane by myself. So I was nervous about that. And then the fire alarm going off and everything. It was just a lot. I was so stressed that week, this week, last week, last week, mm -hmm. right? I was so stressed, you guys. It was just a lot. So that's why I wasn't, I hadn't done video diaries. Sorry, bubs. That's why I hadn't done video diaries and um, and yeah, it was just, and it was a crazy week. It was a nice week. Your graduation was a lot of fun. It was nice, but it was exhausting. Um, and then we came home, we drove six hours, which I think it took us seven hours because we stopped to right. eat and we stopped at this cute little farmer's market thing. Um, and so we took our time driving home and then when we got home, I think we went to bed like, at, or I went to bed at 10. <laughs> I was knocked out. He took a video of me snoring. So fun. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was a it was a crazy week, but it's so nice. It's surreal. Like today he was saying, you know, oh, this is usually the time I would be taking off to go back to Sacramento. And it's just so nice to know that you don't have to do that anymore. Like you're done. Right. So I have him for ten days and then you go off and do your thing and your schedule starts. So I don't know what his schedule's gonna be and how crazy it's gonna be, but I know he's gonna be busy. So I'm prepared for that. But I guess the thing is, is that he's not six hours away. He's he's gonna be close by. Close by. So it'll be nice. It'll, it's nice. It's just nice to have him home. So I cooked dinner tonight and I cooked breakfast, so it was just nice. And when I went to the grocery store, it was like, oh, I get to buy things knowing that I'm going to cook for two instead of just for myself. So that was exciting. But, yeah. So don't worry, you guys. My video diaries are still going to be around. Um, I have to get in the groove of everything. So just like how my husband's going to start getting into his new schedule, I'm going to be zipping into my own new schedule too to correlate with him because I still have to fit in times to do my tarot readings. Um, and then also have hubby time too because I need to designate time for him and the cats. Um, but I will still be around to do video diaries and whatnot. If more people later on, I'm going to keep that little post up where they can ask questions. Okay. So if more people ask questions, then I'll do another video so that we can answer and have, you know, another video together. For but sure. I just wanted something to put up here for today, you guys, because it's, it's been a while. Who ate all my candy? Chocolate. Uh, who ate it? You did. I, I never, I didn't have any of your Kit Kat. I got Butterfinger. Like, I was craving little Butterfingers. Um, but yeah. Do you have anything else you want to say? Oh, here's one of your chocolates. It fell out. No, I took it out. Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> the reason I get dark chocolate is because she doesn't like dark chocolate, so more I, for me. Yeah, so I won't eat it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of dark chocolate. Although, my coworker gave me a piece of her dark chocolate. It was like dark chocolate, but it tastes like coffee. It was really good. It was like one of those healthy chocolate bars that she got from Trader Joe's. It was delicious. And speaking of Trader Joe's, we should probably go to one when we're down the hill tomorrow because there ain't no Trader Joe's up here in the desert. Um, <laughs> Trader Joe's has little witchy brooms and they're scented, um, cinnamon scented. To eat? No, you hang oh. it up in your house <laughs> <laughs> to eat. You hang it up in your house and well, it smells you like say cinnamon. Trader Joe's, I think. I know food. Food. But it's so cute. Some of the some of the girls have been posting it on Instagram, and I'm like, I want a little witchy cinnamon broom. So I might go to Trader Joe's tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see if I do that. I'm so tired, you guys. My face is all red, like my cheeks. I feel like I've been flushed because I feel like I'm like teetering on a very mild fever. He's getting sick. You like you? I like. I think you're getting a little head cold. Oh yeah. I think but so. I've been teetering on a little, um, like a, a mild fever, because my cheeks have been flushed since yesterday. It's just crazy weather. And then my lips are chapped, and my lips get chapped when I'm starting to get sick. I don't know. It's just something weird about. Would you hydrate? That too. I've been drinking a lot of water, which yeah, I was dehydrated. It was just a wild week. I'm so glad it's over. Mm. I was telling my mom. To me, it's normal. I was telling my mom I've been sprouting more gray hairs. It's okay, me too. Like. Literally on the top of my head. There's just Back in high school, my hair was like down here and stuff. Your hairline? Like, now I'm like, oh crap. <laughs> That's just what happens when you get old. Mm, I guess so. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Um, and I will be back for more later. Um, but it's we're just going to hang out, chill. I think he wants to watch Ghostbusters. Yeah, it's halloween -y time. So. He wants to watch a, a halloween movie or something. We'll start off with that. We used to do that, remember? Mm -hmm. Like every weekend, yeah, we used to like, when we're dating, we used to, you know, wait the whole week and then at the end of the week, we'll, we're in a movie or watch a movie, go to the movie theater, watch that a horror movie. That was because when we were first dating, you were One of our first movies on our, on oh, one yeah. of our was, first dates was Saw. Saw 3 or something. It was like one of the Saw movies. It was so gory. It was nasty. It was the one where they were ripping, like not ripping, but they, they were doing the autopsy of the guy's body. And they peeled back his his torso. No, was he, it that one? No, yeah, it was or that. his head or no, something. No, what happened was he couldn't do it. Like get the code or something on time, and his chest rib exploded. Just ripped Ooh, open, yeah. It was so gory. I can't believe like we watched it. And I didn't know you that well, and I didn't realize you didn't like movies like that. I don't like horror movies. So he did it because I was guard since. So why did you do it for me? Those movies. I mean, you know what. You guys ever heard of Faces of Death? Like, supposedly they're real. Real, like, I, footage I of watched it when I was a little kid and that messed me up. You watched it when you were little? Yeah. I had, didn't see Faces of Death until we went to the Death Museum. Was it the Dead Museum or Museum, the of, museum death? of Death? Museum of Death in LA. In yeah. LA, or if you guys are in LA. Check that out. LA or Hollywood, there's a Museum of Death. It's in Hollywood. Um, and it the whole museum is nothing but stuff about death serial killers it's very morbid it's very <laughs> bizarre and in their video room they have faces of death they on um, yeah repeat yeah and it's a lot like i don't i only sat for like a few minutes i couldn't do it check it out it was it's, a lot it's interesting i mean but yeah take your first date there we went there for valentine's day yes we did <laughs> we're weird <laughs> but yeah um i can't believe you watched that when you were little how did you even get your hands on that oh my neighbors, they had a party. And they were playing it? They were playing it, yeah. Well, there they were- had a video or what? Yeah, they had a video. They were like, they were older. Ew. They were like teenagers. Of course. Yeah, of course, so. How old were you? I don't know, maybe 10. Oh my God, did you have nightmares? Hell yeah, I couldn't sleep. <laughs> what do you think, I didn't like horror movies. Now I could watch them, no problem. Because it's not real. They're not real, yeah, I know. Dang, that's, that would traumatize me. I don't think I could watch something like that. I should have been in the kid room watching, uh, I mean, playing Sonic the Hedgehog on Sega. <laughs> no, I wanted to go watch the movie that all the cool kids were watching. Oh my God. Yeah, no. I I could go back. I can remember things that I saw. You know what? Since it's only been 20 minutes in, let me ask you a question. Have Because I did a video recently about all of my paranormal experiences. Do you remember <clears throat> when you got the crucifix blessed for me? 
because I was having nightmares. Yes. And then do you remember the little angel statue and all of that? Yes, and it was turned around or something? Yeah, see? See? I wasn't lying about that. Um, do you have any paranormal experiences? Maybe, but maybe I just don't notice it. You don't notice it? No ghost experiences or anything like that? No. Maybe. I don't know. Did you ever play with a Ouija board? Hell to the no. Yeah, he My won't. cousins did. I, again, I was a little kid. Uh, it was New Year's Eve back in the 90s. And uh, they were, again, my cousins were teenagers. And they were playing in one of my cousin's rooms. And I just, you know, all, the, all of our, my age, cousins were all together in the living room, playing around, doing whatever, watching. Disney um, movies, probably. No, it wasn't no Disney movies. <laughs> doing whatever. And I just remember my cousin, my older cousins just coming out of the room, like yelling, screaming, like, like they were scared. Um, it was, I, I didn't think nothing of it, you know, like whatever. Many, many years later, I asked my cousins, hey, remember that one day that on New Year's Eve, you guys played with the Ouija board? And, well, I had a cousin that passed away. I never met her. Uh, and I guess she was young when she passed away. And that name came up on the Ouija board to my cousins. Dang, was it their sister? One of them, yeah, two, a few of them, it was their, their little sister. I mean, their older sister. That, that would be pretty freaky. Yeah, so that's why they ran out because of, of that. Wow. So. I've only had one Ouija board experience, and I was little, like one of those games we played at a sleepover, but nothing, I never experienced anything creepy with it. Mm. But I've always been curious to try a Ouija board, but he nope. won't let me. That's one, That's the one thing he won't let me bring no, into thank the you. house. No, no, this, so. is, this is my place. This is, yeah. So I honor it. Even though, have you, you have been realizing we have a lot of orbs in our house? They've well, been catching orbs on my videos. That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, it could be your brother. Yeah, it could be my brother. He has been reaching out a lot lately, you guys. It's actually a little ghost story. Um, so my brother, I, I see him with those beetles, right? So I, I haven't seen beetles at all over the summer. And I saw one when we were up in Sacramento. And... Um, but before that, I was at work and um, I was seeing 777, which is, she's playing with the bells. Yeah, I was seeing. She, yeah, she's <laughs> climbing over on this side. She's a little devil. So I was seeing 777 everywhere and 777 uh -huh. is my number sequence for my brother. I had like a, a, visit, a paranormal visitation uh -huh. dream with him right? and he pretty much told me 777 uh -huh. is uh -huh. his number. Uh -huh. So um, I was seeing 777 everywhere and then I went to work and on the desk that I was working at that day was a picture that a little boy drew and it was a picture of Godzilla. And Godzilla was my brother's favorite character like my brother collected the the little um um the little what are they called what are those things called action figures like the godzilla figures yeah figurines um he had all the, like not all of them but he had a lot of the godzilla movies so the fact that i had had that experience with the orbs seeing 777 everywhere um and then seeing godzilla like literally a, a little kid drawing of godzilla on the table which was so random so I saved the picture, I have it in my room. Um, but it was just, to me, it was like my bro was reaching out. And that's one of those things where this time of year, like fall, getting close to Halloween and Dia de, lo, de, Dia de los Muertos, um, your spirit visitations are much more strong. And so I feel like he's been around. And so um, it's like, it's nice to think that those orbs could be him or whatever, but um, where are you yeah, going? it's kind of funny. And then the cats, the cats see stuff, I think. I think Starla sees things. But yeah, I love it. I love doing ghost stories. Like I love to listen to ghost stories on. And then she can't sleep. Yeah, and then I can't sleep. <laughs> Anyways, all right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and head out. Let you guys go, and we are going to watch a movie. I guess. I need to wash dishes first. Um, but yeah, if you guys ask more questions on my Instagram, then I will be back. We'll be back for another video, maybe maybe tomorrow or something. But we have a lot to do tomorrow, so we'll see. Until then, loves, I will talk to you later. See you later. Can you press the little red square? Put your closer. Hi. Bye, guys.